The Ankle Brachial Index, or ABI, is the best known and standardized test for diagnosing PAD. Fundamentally, it is a comparison of the ankle systolic pressure to the arm systolic pressure. Simple ABI systems assist in performing this test quickly and accurately, following the clinical and CPT recommendations for the ABI exam. These recommendations include obtaining the systolic pressures using a Doppler at both the PT and DP arteries at the ankle and including a pulse volume recording, or PVR, waveform at the ankles. Have the patient lie down in the supine position, relaxed with their head and heels, supported in a comfortably warm room. Wrap appropriate sized cuffs, usually 12 centimeters on the arms and 10 centimeters on the ankles, as explained in the section on cuff wrapping. On the computer desktop screen, select the simple ABI icon. When the screen opens, click the File tab, then New, and select ABI Report. Take the relevant patient history, including patient information, risk factors, current symptoms, ICD codes, etc. Use the computer cursor and click on the right brachial field. Place the Doppler probe at a 45 degree angle to the skin over the radial artery. Move the probe slowly back and forth until the strongest arterial signal is heard. While listening to the arterial blood flow, inflate the cuff with the aneroid until you no longer hear the signal and continue for an additional 20 millimeters. With the release button slowly deflate at approximately two millimeters per second. When you hear the Doppler signal return, note the pressure on the aneroid gauge and enter it in the right brachial field. If you want to repeat the pressure measurement, simply repeat the process. When satisfied, use the cursor to move to the next site or press the tab button to move to the right DP. Release the pressure in the cuff and move the aneroid to the ankle cuff. At the dorsalis pedis DP field, take an ankle pressure using the Doppler probe on the DP artery on top of the foot. When blood flow returns, Note the pressure and enter in the DP field. If satisfied, use the cursor to select the PT field or press tab. Place the Doppler probe on the PT artery behind the inside ankle bone. Obtain the pressure by the same method used on other sites. When you hear the Doppler signal return, note the pressure on the gauge and enter it in the PT field. If you are satisfied, release the pressure from the cuff. To obtain a PVR waveform at the ankle cuff, press the right PVR button on the computer screen located under the right ABI index. A pop-up will appear with a visual gauge of appropriate pressure. Inflate the cuff to approximately 80 millimeters and deflate to 65 millimeters. This slight overinflation helps to release wrinkles in the cuff and take a more stable PVR waveform. The bar being in the middle is 65 millimeters and the recommended pressure to take the PVR waveform. Please note, you may take a PVR waveform as long as the bar is neither completely empty nor completely full. It is not necessary for the pressure to be exactly 65 millimeters. Press the Get Waveform button to take five seconds of data. If you want, you may repeat to collect five seconds of data. It will overwrite the previous waveform. If satisfied, deflate the cuff and move the aneroid to the left arm and press tab or use the cursor to move to the left brachial site on the computer. Repeat the sequence you just completed on the patient for their left side. Find a good Doppler signal at the left radial or brachial artery. Inflate the cuff until you no longer hear the Doppler signal and continue for an additional 20 millimeters. Deflate the cuff at two millimeters per second until you hear the Doppler signal return and note the pressure from the aneroid. Enter that pressure in the left brachial field. Move the aneroid to the left ankle cuff and press tab or use the cursor to move to the left DP site. Take the left DP pressure. Enter this pressure in the left DP field. Press tab or use the cursor to move to the left PT field. Now take the left PT pressure. Enter this pressure in left PT field. Release the pressure in the cuff and prepare to take a PVR waveform. Obtain a PVR waveform at this ankle cuff in the same manner as before. Click on left PVR, inflate the cuff to 80 millimeters, deflate to 65 millimeters, 
and press the Get Waveform button. If satisfied, deflate the cuff. When finished, you may add or select impressions in the impression fields. Save or print the report by going back to the File tab. That's all there is to the ABI exam with your simple ABI, ABI 300. Like any procedure, the ABI becomes easier to do with practice.